Chapter 7, Lesson 4, Solving One-Step Equations Using Multiplication. Example 1, solve 2x equals 12. So remember that a number next to a variable represents multiplication. So the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So to get the variable x by itself, we want to divide both sides by 2 because then the 2 over the 2 equal to 1, x equals 12 divided by 2 is 6. 1 times x just equals x, so x equals 6. Example 2. Solve 5.9b equals 23.6. So 5.9 is being multiplied with the b, so we have to do inverse operations, which is to divide. And we can show division with a fraction bar. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5.9. 5.9 over 5.9 cancels out. We're left with b equals, and now we have to divide 23.6 divided by 5.9. When dividing decimals, we have to make the number on the outside a whole number, so I'm going to have to move the decimal over one place. Then I have to do the same thing to the decimal inside and carry up the decimal point. So now we're going to divide 236 by 59. 59 goes into 236 four times, which equals 236. So B equals 4. Solve 3.5s equals 28. So we want to solve for s by getting it by itself. So 3.5 is being multiplied with s. So the inverse operation is to divide. So we have to divide by 3.5 on both sides of the equal sign to keep the equation balanced. Any number over itself equals to 1 and can be canceled out because 1 times s is just s. Equal, so we have to do 28 divided by 3 and a half. So first, we need to convert 3 and a half to an improper fraction by doing 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1, which is 7. Denominator always stays the same. We can rewrite 28 as 28 over 1. So now when dividing fractions, we have to use the keep, change, flip rule. So we're going to keep the first fraction, change division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. So now we can multiply. But before we can multiply, we can cross simplify by dividing by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 28 divided by 7 is 4. So now we can multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1, 8 over 1 is equal to 8. So the answer to this equation is s is equal to 8. Solve 2 and 3 fourths x equals 19 and 1 fourth. So 2 and 3 fourths is being multiplied by x, so I need to do the inverse and divide by 2 and 3 fourths on both sides. I know that any number divided by itself is just equal to 1, and 1 times x leaves us with just x. So now we have to do 19 and 1 fourth divided by 2 and 3 fourths to know what x equals to. So to divide these fractions, the first thing I need to do is convert these to improper fractions. So 19 times 4 gives us 76, plus 1 gives us 77, and the denominator stays the same, 4. Divided by 2 times 4 gives us 8, plus 3 gives us 11, denominator stays the same. So now to divide these fractions, we're going to have to keep, change, flip. 
So we keep the first fraction the same, change division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. So we can cross simplify. 4 divided by 4 can both be simplified by 1. 11 and 77 can both be divided by 11, which becomes 7 over 1. And now we can multiply. 7 times 1 gives us 7. 1 times 1 gives us 1. So this just equals to 7. So our variable x is equal to 7. Try these problems yourself to check for understanding.